beautiful Aries. Hey, it's Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings and Sparky and bringing you to the great outdoors today for your reading. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's dive right in. Having my coffee with you. <laughs> so let's do, um, we're going to look into your midweek and let's see what's coming Aries. It's a nice crisp fall day. In fact, it's getting a little chilly out here now in the mountains and um, perfect fall weather. <laughs> so let's see Aries. Actually, let's go with this one. Huh. What's this power struggle you're in Aries? There's something showing up here like there's some kind of a power struggle, <clears throat> maybe having to do with money, maybe having to do with um, secrets. Maybe having to do with secrets from a Leo. I'll show you these cards in just a second. Let me pull the rest of your spread real quick. Midweek for Aries. Oh yeah, the strong Aries card. I see it coming up here. I didn't get your cookie. There. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Oh, look, here's your Aries card. I said strong Aries energy. There it is. Um, let's see, I'll explain this to you in just a second. Let me get this pulled. Wow, this is good. Wow. Okay, Aries, I'm going to uh, show you these and we'll do some clarification, okay? So the first thing, yeah, this power struggle is showing up big time with the Two of Swords right next to something about a loss of money um, or actually... A loss and then a return of money because this did come up reverse for you so there's definitely something here <laughs> Sparky really likes the picnic table because he just comes right up here and stands on it <laughs> okay the life of a dog right so um so I'm sorry got distracted for a second there so Aries, there's some kind of a power struggle going on around money. And I feel like it involves secrets with this high priestess card. Okay, so here's what we've got so far, if you can see those. Okay, now um, I feel like this power struggle might be with this Leo. This could be somebody holding something back from you or you're holding money back from somebody. This can be an actual person who is a in the sign of Leo, secretive. This could also be, you know, this is the strength card. I feel like you're flexing your muscles in some way around this money or having money returned to you. I feel this really strongly about this money is coming back to you, returning to you at this time. Okay, we'll see what else. I'll get some clarification and we'll see what else happens. I love doing the outdoor readings because you just never know what's going to happen or what's going to show up or which dog is going to jump right up here on the picnic table. <laughs> It's always, it's always just, you know, it's exciting like that. Now, going into your past, I feel like there's something here where you um, uh, felt like you didn't have the resources you wanted or something like that with this Nine of Pentacles. This is all about self-sufficiency, but it's upside down and it's going into the past. So I feel like there was something here where you were feeling like you wanted more resources and more financial stability, and it's happening. Um, you know, when I look further into this reading, which I haven't had a chance to tell you yet. Wait do you see? Wait do you see what's coming next? Okay. Because this feeling of not having enough money or resources is going into your past. So let me tell you what's in the future is seven of wands. This is perseverance. Again, this is, I said, this is your strong Aries energy followed by nurturing money, growing money, seven of pentacles look at this she's growing money on trees Aries okay and then how other people are seeing you is this Aries card here's the Emperor so this is what I was saying the strong Aries feel you guys flexing your muscles you know is what I'm getting here and you're getting what you want because of this and this is fair this this Emperor is such a good card I love that this came up, how other people are seeing you is in your power, Aries, at this time. Very strong, very much the person in charge, very much the person in control of your own life, mostly, you know, your destiny. 
sometimes this can be real estate. Sometimes the emperor can, you know, have to do with real estate or um, any kind of, you know, rentals or landlords or buying or selling or investments or any part of real estate. Building bridges. You can see the emperor builds bridges, okay? Builds things, makes things happen is the mover and the shaker. And this is representing you right now, Aries. Wow, <laughs> I love this. I got so many goosebumps. That's so cool. That's so cool. Now some of it, granted, is because it's getting chilly out here. It's getting later in the day. But those are genuine psychic goosebumps that I just got for you. So cool. I love that for you because you guys have been through a rough time. And as you know, I am always in your corner, <laughs> Aries. I am, you know, I have a special bond with Aries. I've said this many times on many of my videos, you know, that I grew up um, with a lot of Aries uh, around me as a child. So I had a lot of Aries influence and I'm a fire sign, I'm a Sagittarius. So I get your fire energy. And when I see any of the signs, coming up with their card in their position of energy it's so much strength behind this yeah i love it i love how things are turning a corner for you guys you're being released from the state of limbo too look at this hanged man card reversed that's happening a big release of energy and here's the hermit card now the hermit did come up reversed as your final outcome and some of you it's like you're tired of people. <laughs> you don't want to be around people and you're just taking a break and you're being in your own energy, your own beautiful, strong, fiery Aries energy. You're doing your own thing. You're thinking your own thoughts. Maybe you don't want to be around people at this time. I, mean, I get this pretty strongly with this Hermit reversed card. Some people might say you're being asocial. Um, I say you're just doing your own thing. You know, um, maybe you don't still want to socialize right now. Nothing wrong with that, okay? So here's what you don't see coming, okay? New beginning. Look at this fiery new beginning of this Ace of Wands. This is passion. This is happiness. This is all things good. All things good. And there might be a little bit of, alongside that, you're not sure what direction to go in with this new beginning. Okay, you've got a lot of opportunities coming and you're not sure which way you're going. So quickly, let's um, do a clarification, okay? What else does Aries need to know? You know, this is you standing strong, standing in your energy, growing your money. Yeah, and you're letting go of all the anxiety and worries. I feel like this has been around you recently. Like maybe you've been worrying, is this money coming back to me? Uh, was this money taken? You know, um, there's something about strength. There's something about secrets and maybe this Leo or other fire sign energy. And I feel like it's been keeping you awake at night. Um, I do see that ending because I do see some money returning to you. Let's clarify that. Oh, it's coming in fast. Look at this eight of wands, Aries. This money returning to you, it's coming in fast like that. This one wants to come out too. Yeah, page of swords. Somebody was a troublemaker. I feel like somebody's spying on you or something like that. They're wondering if, if you're doing okay, like in life. <laughs> They're not wishing you well. You know, they're hoping you're failing, but I have news for them. <laughs> I have so much news for them. They're not. Look at this emperor card. That's how they're seeing you when they spy on you. They're like, wow, Aries is doing great. <laughs> Aries is doing great without me or in spite of me. Okay. There's something there about that Aries. I love it. Let's see. Karma. <laughs> okay. And we've got eight of pentacles. Look at this. So. This is something about you creating either a new job or a new business or some kind of new creative venture that may bring you in, you know, some money, maybe a side hustle, may, maybe a main hustle. But this is about something that um, really sparks your interest, really you're passionate about. Maybe you're staying up late at night burning the midnight oil with this. All right, let's get final words here, Aries. This is just a quick look at your midweek. And let's get final words for Aries on this midweek. Oh, here's the strength card again. This is you. 
this is you being very, very strong, very balanced. Maybe you're working out, um, you know, physically. Maybe you're doing something to really enhance, um, you know, your your strength and your vitality and things like that. Because I feel that really strongly from you. And yeah, here's the hanged man reversed again. This is because you're getting out of some sort of state of limbo. Something that's been holding you up, holding you back. You're getting out of that. That's ending. You're being released from something. Let's, let's get one more here. Yeah, look at this. You might be getting some sort of new love offer. Here's the Knight of Cups. And there's something about new love maybe coming in. And if it's not love, maybe you don't want love. This hermit says you might not want love. That's okay. This could be any kind of an offer that you will love. Okay. Think contracts or business partners, somebody saying, hey, you want to go into business with me? Or, hey, um, can I buy your house? You know, things like that. Offers. But this is really happy. Knight of Cups always makes people really happy. Okay. Because it comes with new opportunities. So that's what's coming in, Aries, midweek for you. Thanks so much for joining me. It's great to see you guys. Love you guys. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.